So supposedly this is the second part of the video of buying house in Ireland. So let's go and continue this. <laughs> and we were in love with the prototype. Like there was no floor, nothing. Like we saw it as it would be, you know, like because in Ireland they don't put the floors and some of them give you the appliances for the kitchen some of them don't in our case they didn't give anything no floor no appliance for kitchen nothing you know so we saw the house we fall in love and we just wanted to know will this be ready by september uh, because they were still like constructing the other ones like on the finishes not like that much and they said yeah it will be ready on September. That's what she said to our face. <sighs> and then, like we said, we are happy about it. We can have the contracts. They were closing for summer holidays or something like that. Uh, so, yeah, she's like, oh no, before that. Like, that was after. Uh, so, yeah, we had another week that we came and saw the house. Um, because we could see it again and we decided to just see it one more time just to really be sure so after that second time we said yeah it's fine we like it we love it we want it um, we are ready for the contracts you know and um, they were closing for holidays and but they were closing for summer holidays and that was two weeks i think that they were closing and they would set it before but we could return it as soon as possible on that same day that they told us that we got to know that our house number i will not say it of course but it was one number that they gave us on that visit in December because they had all the houses like planned and that was the last one that was available supposedly uh, from the three bedroom they gave us that number and we got to know in that day as well that that number was the house that we were seeing the one that I firstly filmed without the floor so I have noticed them um since the last time that I spoke about the house basically I didn't say much more and that was because that day was a I bit of a mess yeah uh, was a bit of a mess especially because they didn't have answers for us about a few things but they told us that we could go the week after and check the house again and probably they will have a few answers so we did that we went for the second viewing of the house in the week after and however we went for the second uh, second time and we got a few answers since then a lot of things have happened but i will tell you the story time of our second viewing of that house so we went and like there was three show houses like one three bedroom but um, like how it's called now semi detached one three bedroom end of terrace and one two bedroom terrace I think it's like that two bedroom terrace and the three bed um detach semi detach those two were um uh, all furnished and like all pretty and like that and then the three bedroom end of terrace was just the flooring not like furnished uh, furnished and all of that you know so we walk around again once again with other people so I did the filming but it's not that perfect or whatever but yeah and then we wanted to ask a few questions to the lady again 
the cellar. Um, but while she was with other people, like answering their questions, like my husband went to wait <laughs> for her, and I went to just check the other two houses. And when I went inside of the two bedroom terrace house, there was the planification of the houses. So I was looking at the planification. I was like, oh, that's grand, blah, blah, blah. But I wasn't getting it like which number of the houses were the numbers, that, the houses that we were seeing that day. So there was another lady there as well, just to help out our seller. She's from the same company and everything. And she was like, oh, do you need help? And I was like, oh, I just, I'm just wondering which one is this number and she yeah. pointed out and was the house that oh. there was the flooring no furnished but there was the flooring already I was ready. and that we saw it like minutes ago and we saw the first time the house that i'm showing you in those videos i was like oh so is the next to this one isn't it and she was like yeah that, that, that's correct and I was like oh nice and so I went outside my husband in the meanwhile while I was checking the other house I talk with our seller and he came to me and he was like oh I have something to tell you I was like I have something to tell you as well and like we just went both basically at the same time and we're like this is our house so we were happy that they put by mistake, I don't know, I don't know, but they put by mistake the flooring on the house and I was happy about it because that's one less stress for us to think about it. I know that it's not all the flooring that I like, like the flooring, the tiles on the kitchen, and the flooring on the like living room and all of that it's exactly what i wanted which is funny and then the stairs to the floor upstairs and all the upstairs flooring it's carpet which is not my preference however i couldn't care less because that's one less stress that i will have because this baby is coming out in October. How many times will I have to say like this baby is coming in October? It can even come in September, in the end of the September. So, eh, you know, like, eh. like <laughs> I cannot stress enough that this baby is coming and I need that house ready. So it's one less stress for us that the flooring is done. Are you okay, baby? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Careful. Um but so are you okay? <laughs> Olha, cuidado quando se come, que é para não ficar engasgado, ok? It's okay, baby. So that was the happy part. <laughs> the thing was, we wanted to know about the contracts when they were going to be sent out to our um, solicitor, all of those things. Um, when could the guy for um, like the snag lists come to the house? All of that, you know. And that was the worst part. So, contracts, she said that they were going to send in the next week. But the guy for the snag list, he could only come after water and electricity are done on the house. And the provision for that is September. beginning of September, middle of September, end of September, God knows. I hope it's the beginning of September 
and then we can go through the rest of it but god knows and i'm stressing about that part um so we were happy because it was ready already so it was just in our heads to sign the contract and have the electricity done and paying the bills <laughs> i don't know in our head was that like it wasn't missing that much you know um but <laughs> as we soon find out things were not as we thought okay so <laughs> funny fact i think it was two days ago i gave you an update on the house uh, i'm tired of this fucking process i'm sorry for the bad language but i'm that's me expressing how tired i really am um we got another update today so the contract was with the wrong wrong house number <laughs> and we thought that was just their mistake and as well I said that they by mistake they put the floors in our house number so today we got an answer back because she's back from the holidays and the thing was it was decided last minute it seems it seems because I don't trust I don't trust anything anymore but it was decided by the management of the construction that since by mistake of their mistake their mistake of putting the floor on the house they are not going to sell that house anymore until the end of all the construction and they will hold that house number that was ours they will hold it as a show house and so the number that they sent on the contract is <laughs> the house that now they are offering us if we want and that's the thing like if we want <sighs> because then it's our choice If we don't want it, then we don't have an house <laughs> at this point, we just said, yeah, because what I wanted to tell them if I was going to be truly honest to my feelings, to my mind and everything, I wanted to shout at them and be like since December last year we have accorded that will we said that number and you said that that was the last house number that was available so now more than seven months after you're telling me that because of your mistake your mistake not mine your mistake you don't want to sell me the house that we gave a deposit on and so you want me to go for another house that supposedly was sold already it's just stressful it's been a stressful year and I don't know if everything is just more emotional because I'm pregnant or not maybe it is but I'm just so tired of this process I'm so tired of this process like I, I can't wait for all of this to be finished 
and fine fine we are going to have another house it was not supposed to be that one but who cares isn't it and yes I still have to put the floor on it and that's another issue because I was happy that I didn't have to put the floor because it was their mistake it's your mistake if they have told me in my face look it was our mistake can you pay 10k more for it I will be gladly doing it I would gladly do it because it was already done the floor but since that's not an hypothesis I will have to do all the shit I, I, I don't even know I don't even know so calmer than the other day <laughs> I think it's just the stress of everything happening at the same freaking time. Uh, but yeah, so... The last update that I have is that we will sign the contracts next week. And then we have to wait for the house to be finished. That's supposedly on the 8th of September. And then they need to make the connections for water and electricity. Then the bank needs to send someone to check the house and say like, oh yeah, that price is what it is, you know. And I think then is the drown down. I think that's the order that things will go, hopefully. The thing is, I don't know. I feel, you know when you feel like everything is a little bit behind than it's supposed to be? I, I'm feeling that way at the moment. That everything is a little bit behind from what was supposed to be. <sighs> that means, in my mind at least, that... We probably will not be able to move in September. I, I, I hope I'm wrong. Because with all honesty, like we need to put the floors. Because now we need to put the floors. Um, but yeah, we need to put the floors. And this baby is coming between the end of September and beginning of October. I already told her, like, try to just come in October, but it's not up to me, it's up to her, and I don't know what she will be up to, so yeah, anything can happen, and this is the final 10, 11 weeks, whatever it is, for... Like, I think it's less than 10 already. Gosh. Like, nine weeks for the baby to come. And a little bit less for me to be happy and move into the house. Because Paolo just took, like, holidays for the last week of September and first week of October to do the floors and everything but yeah I don't know <laughs> I don't know uh, I am calmer but at the same time I'm stressed and there is other things going on like so our solicitor got the contract and they find it weird because it wasn't the number that we told them, it was another number. So they contact us and they were like, well, you told us this number of the house, but on the contract is this one. Is this correct or not? And we were like, no, no, no. And we showed the deposit because the deposit had the number of the house, all of that jazz. And then our solicitor had to talk with their solicitor. 
But their solicitor didn't want to move things because they were in holidays, our sellers were in holidays and they wanted to confirm with the sellers. So we had to wait two weeks for that confirmation. And as soon as those two weeks were up on Monday, when they came back to work and whatever, they called my husband and they were like, ah, yeah, so look, um, because we put the floors, yes, because the second visit that we went for the house, they had put the floors and we were happy about it because that was one less thing that we needed to do because it was their mistake, not ours. And they were basically like, oh yeah, because we put the floors, um, we are not selling that anymore to you because it will be a show house now. <sighs> they already knew that when they sent the contracts, okay? So they could have told us that two weeks prior, but no, like there was no communication of it. They let us wait two weeks for us to know was very frustrating. That's when I started to understand that the communication was very bad between the seller's company and the people buying it. Sorry, sorry, what's happening? And we were really, really frustrated because that meant that things would, would take a little bit longer. But we signed it because the way that they put it was like, you want, you want, you don't want, that's fine. But we didn't mind, like we were just upset that there was miscommunication all over. Uh, but yeah, so... Come here. I will see if you guys don't see her. But yeah, so we signed that contract for the house that we are in now. We even gain um, more square meters, so fine by us, uh, especially on the garden for the kids. And then was the process of back and forth, back and forth with, is it ready, is not ready was supposed to be ready in September, then it wasn't ready in September anymore, it was October, then it wasn't on October, they didn't know where it was, and like was so stressful, you will see all of that. At the same time, we had to see someone to do the floors on the house, because we needed someone to put the floors when we get in, since it doesn't come with the flooring um, but because they were always back and forth with us on dates to give the house we were always back and forth with the person for putting the floors because we didn't know when that, that's it we we just didn't know when <laughs> because someone knocked on the door um where was it oh yeah so we were back and forth back and forth our last date with the flooring was on the 8th of December, however, <laughs> of course we didn't have the house on the 8th of December, so we didn't know because they didn't told us when we would get it, so like we didn't have another, a new date until we knew the date for the house. So, what happened was, um, on the 12th of December or 15th, somewhere around those days, we got to know that we could bring for the second snug uh, the person to see. So we did the second snug and like, they just recommend us to to go ahead uh, with paying and whatever because the things were so small that they could fix it and 
fast so that's what we did uh, we decided to go over we talked with our brokers they were amazing because until the 15 yeah so it was on the 12th until the 15 uh, we had to give all the papers for the bank and like for the bank to see and approve and yeah we it, it was like boom 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 like we checked the house for the second snag everything was fine we talked with our brokers uh, we gave all the documentation until the 15th of December then our solicitor had already the money they paid on the 18 and then on the 22nd if I'm not mistaken on the 22nd was the day that we got our keys and then <laughs> no so wait it was on the 20 that we got our keys on the 21 we didn't have no one for the floors because they were already booked until January but we needed to move because two weeks prior the landlord said look you guys need to move that's it we gave you until September it's already December you need to get out and there it came like we were like we will do it ourselves so me and my husband we brought all the flooring in and we start doing it on Christmas time. So we started on the 21st, then 22nd, 23rd and 24th my husband was working. On the 25th we came here to do a little bit more. 26th, 27th we mostly finish the flooring and then we start the move. <laughs> in one day the 30th of december we move everything that we had in our rental to here and then we started like putting everything in um we didn't have that much it was more the things that we have bought previously because we had bought the beds uh, all the bedding was uh, bought before we moved and thank god because then we could sleep already in here on the 30th of december and since the 30th of december until now we have been buying what we needed and doing everything ourselves basically um we didn't have a sofa we didn't had a tv or the tv stands and we didn't have a table for the kitchen we didn't have basically nothing like we have to buy everything do it ourselves and the only thing that was not done by us was the carpet on the stairs and landing upstairs that was the only thing that was not done by us um everything else was done by us like everything else in the house was done by ourselves so was a very long 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 process um a very stressful year in 2023 even if it was one of the best years we had our second daughter um we got our keys but it was a very very stressful year in 2023 and yeah so god help us <laughs> um we are still like getting things arranged around now we have things that we need to pay other people to do um but yeah like it was a very stressful process as you have seen probably from me from the past uh, she was a very very stressful lady <laughs> last year um, in the end we are happy we have our own home and now we will make it 
like our home you know like at the moment we just want to make it livable and then probably on the summer we will paint the house and we will do the garden and yeah so we will do paneling because I want to um, there is a lot of the things that I will do there are a few things that I do not like it in the house just two things not that much one of them is like on the planification for this house they I said that there was a walk-in closet as you have seen from she's getting like a little bit upset um, as you have seen on the images that I filmed from the house um, <laughs> the walk-in closet is not that walk-in closet like I have said it was a want nor a need but it is frustrating because it's probably the wardrobes are the ones with bad organization inside so we have to see that um, and the wardrobe from our kids uh, room like they could have extended but taking those two things out everything else is perfect and we will fix what we need and we will show you what we are fixing yeah I'm almost done I'm almost done I'm almost done but yes yeah, so I think this video will be separated in two because I don't want to have too much uh, things so I do hope that you enjoyed this video if you have questions about the process just let me know and I will answer or I will make a video with your questions and we will see each other on the next one bye